Welcome to an episode of Painting with Carla. And I'm busy working on a male line painting that is in collaboration with the Kevin Richardson Foundation. And I'm just going to chat while I paint. And hopefully we come up with something enlightened and helpful for everyone involved. This is my second application of oil paint for this painting. And I'm experimenting with a method, not new, new to me, but a method where I am just basically only working in two applications of paint. The main reason that I'm doing this is purely out of uh, need to move on basically to the next painting relatively quickly. But I'm also with an ulterior motive trying to work a little bit quicker here because <laughs> I have a tendency to sit and try and copy things absolutely 100% exact. The problem with this is I found that it loses a lot of magic. There's something to be said for paintings where an artist can be seen in the creation. Like you actually, you can see their work and, and how they manifest their interpretation for the subject in that, in the, just simply the way that their brushwork um, conveys the paint onto the canvas. When an artist copies a reference photo exact to the point where the surface is smooth and perfect and it's just, we see the image as idyllic. There's no imperfection. It's completely removed essentially from the artist itself. There is, there is a whole other side to that. There's an amount of respect that the artist is paying the subject matter when you do remove yourself from the image. But from a viewer's perspective, if you were buying a painting and you're buying a painting because it's been created by the hand of a human being, you want to see that evident in the image. And I lost sight of this for like the beginning of my career anyway. Mostly because I didn't have the confidence to allow myself the imperfections. I, I couldn't do it. Like I just couldn't let myself express the artistic hand in that. And so I set out on this journey of trying to free up my style and let my paint become a little bit more free. And this was actually really challenging. I didn't enjoy doing it at all, actually. And I started off by doing painting challenges. So for the past almost five years, I've been doing regular little painting challenges in the form of acrylic minis. And these have actually formed the foundation of all of my tutorials, almost all of my tutorials, where I basically just limit myself to like six hours to paint the portrait, a small portrait. And it means I have to move through my layering process very quickly. And so I managed to master this with acrylic paint, which is why I'm able to teach it so confidently. And confidence is the key because confidence comes through experience, repetition, doing things again and again until you know it backwards. So that's why I'm able to teach these things on my tutorial platform. But now I'm trying to do it with oil paint. Oil paint is the medium that you just sort of sink into. There's like a slow, ponderous way about oil paint that I absolutely love. It's smooth, it's rich, it allows you to really just take your time. Uh, whereas acrylic paint, it dries fast, you move on quickly, like you can start on the next application like as, <laughs> as soon as you basically are done with one layer, you can move on to the next. Whereas oil paint, you really got to just plan your layers. You take a step back. You enjoy that time that you get with it. I'm um, sucking into it. The slowness, this reserved attitude to oil painting. And now I'm trying to apply myself in a way that I have with acrylic paint to some faster layering techniques. But the problem is you can't go faster with oil paint because oil paint is in its nature a slow drying paint. So how do you work with oil paint in a way that allows you to still create the paintings realistically and detailed, but you still get the same result as if it was spending hundreds of hours on it? And of course, 
we don't have hundreds of hours in our lives available anymore. I don't know about you. I've got young children. Like time is precious and I can't put as much time into my paintings as I could before I had kids. So now I'm trying to work with my oil paint in a way that still respects the nature of the paint, but still enjoy the process and get the same result. So I'm not shortcutting on my quality and my technique, but I'm actually enhancing it through allowing the artist hand to show through what I'm doing. So how do I do that? What, what, is, the, what is the secret? So that's what I'm figuring out at the moment. I am on a journey where I am removing myself from the process but at the same time showing up in the painting as a finished piece of artwork. It requires me to learn when to stop and just what that looks like. How much detail do you actually need in a painting in order for it to be visually stunning enough for a collector that's in love with realism to be like, oh, this is a masterpiece. Like how much is too much where you're completely removed from the painting and you represent something more mechanical? Where does that balance lie? How do we achieve that balance? And that's the journey that I'm on. We're figuring it out slowly because I don't want to spend my whole artistic career copying. I love the freedom that you can achieve in painting things from experience and from observation, not just from a good picture. So we're on a journey together and it's truly wonderful.